In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to use the new ChatGPT 4.0 with Canvas feature to write better content and actually write articles that will rank higher on Google using this new feature. So let's go ahead and get started. So first, what I did was, of course, I'm using the Canvas model. It is GPT 4.0 with Canvas. Uh, you just click the drop down menu and you can select the one with Canvas. First, what we did was we told it, let's write an SEO blog post. So we've told it to write an SEO blog post and now it's actually going to tell us how we can go about doing so. So it's writing about things that we need to focus on to write better content. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to tell it to write using our prompts. So these are our SEO prompts that we have. And these are the prompts which you would use to first prime the AI and then use it to write the full article. So again, first, what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my prompts here. These are going to be our primers. So these are our, our system prompts. We're going to copy that over and we're going to head back over to ChatGPT. When writing, follow these instructions. And we're going to paste that in there. And again, now what it did was it actually went ahead and edited the content which we first created using that information. So this is pretty neat because what it is, is it's an all in one tool which allows you to edit and write content a little bit better. So let's say for the first output that we get back, we didn't really necessarily like the output. We can edit it to write in a different way to get a better output quality that may be more suited to what we're looking for. So as you can see, it edited that article um, to to add an optimized meta title and make minor adjustments to align with our SEO writing instructions, which is awesome. So now what we're going to do is we're going to tell it to create an outline for a specific topic. Okay, so we're going to tell it to create an outline about the topic here. And the topic is going to be how to start an AI automation agency in 2024. Okay, so this is going to be a completely new um, article. As you can see, it's very, very quick. It's writing the article very quickly, which I like. Or it's writing the outline, should I say, very quickly. So starting an AI automation agency in 2024 is an exciting opportunity as more businesses are seeking to automate their processes and enhance productivity with AI, table of contents, we get about 15 different um, or 16 different table of contents, FAQs, and so on. So this is awesome. This is a very, very in-depth article here, um, or at least it's setting up the article to be very in-depth. So now what we're going to do is we're going to head back over to our prompts. We're going to use our prompt to tell us to write the full article now. You can tell it to write each section individually if you'd like to do so. For the sake of time, I'm going to tell it to just write the full article. So again, now what it's going to do is it's going to follow, I think, that table of contents. It's going to edit the AI agency guide. It's first editing, and now it's going to write the full article. So again, this is nice, right? Because we can see that the AI is taking its time to edit. It's taking its time to understand the context. It's taking its time to formulate um, the outline, which means that we should get a much, much more better output. So how to start an AI agency, introduction to AI automation agencies, what is an AI automation agency, why start an AI automation agency, da da da. And while we're on this point, as you can see, when I click on the actual topic, I can actually go ahead and ask ChatGPT something related to that specific heading. So I can edit or explain a specific um, part of that article. So if I wanted to add some more content, I would then tell the AI to expand on this in 2025 and beyond. Right, so I told to expand on this on 2025 and beyond. I've updated the title to reflect 2025 and beyond. Okay. Not entirely sure exactly where it did that, but it's pretty cool, right? As you can see here, we can edit specific parts. We can bold, we can um, add some italics, whatever we like to do. We have much more editing features now available 
on um, ChatGPT when we're using the Canvas mode. So it's a really powerful tool that we can use, especially for writing articles, right? So let's actually go ahead and take a look at this full article to see how long it is. So it says to be continued. So in just in terms of the first output that we get back here, this is already 900 words. So I can tell it to now continue. And also, I wish I didn't actually take in, you can continue writing manually on this section here. So again, you can write manually, you can add your own content with the content that we're getting back from ChatGPT, so which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna tell it to continue. So it's gonna go over the full article again. If you are a writer, then you should be very excited by this feature. If you are an SEO blogger, um, if you create a lot of content for your, for your websites, this is pretty awesome because again, you can merge your own writing with ChatGPT. So not only do you have to rely only on the content that we're getting back from the AI, we can edit it, we can guide it, and we can direct it much, much better using the Canvas mode. So it doesn't continue the actual article. Let me see if I can click here. Continue. Okay, so if you want it to continue, you have to click on that specific topic and then tell it to continue from that section because then it knows where, where to start and where to pick off and where to end. So again, it takes a little bit of playing and getting used to, but as you guys can see here, we're able to write very, very in-depth articles. Like this is pretty awesome, the article in which we're able to get back. Some more sections coming. So again, we're at 500 words, or sorry, around 900 words for the first article. Now this is... 1200. So we're already at over 2000 words. And again, I can tell it to as ChatGPT continue. So it is a little bit finicky, I would say, um, to get the full content, especially when you write, want to write longer pieces of content. So just keep that in mind. But overall, I would say it's a very, very cool, very useful tool, which you can use for writing. I think um, for SEO writing and for writing really in-depth blogs, articles, and eBooks, this would be a very, very useful tool for you. So I just wanted to do a quick review of this new feature from ChatGPT. Hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.